to everyone in the choral fraternity and the community at large. My name is Nom Tandazo Mkize Solomon. I am a vocal coach, a musician, a teacher, and I head a department of music in Katle Home. I'm also a founder of a group called Vivacious Sound. I am requested to speak about a number of issues that women face in this fraternity or in the choral fraternity. Uh, one of the things that we usually uh, face is marginalization because the space that you're working in is more male dominated and hence women become more submissive and also we are afraid to take certain steps or to reach certain standards or roles. Uh, and at times we also forego of who we are and what we want to become and what we want to do because the space doesn't permit us to do that. Uh, as women, we have many roles that we have to play. We have to become mothers. We have to become wives. And also we have to be professionals. So to tackle all those roles, it's also a challenge on its own. So as women, we also face that. At times, when you come home from a rehearsal and you come home very late, but when it comes to males, it's just a normal situation. Um, and the history of the choral sector has historical ideas that were prescribed in the past, which never permitted women to be in certain positions. So in nowadays, we as women, we are trying so hard to break those rules. And another thing that we are also uh, challenged with is jealousy amongst ourselves as women. And that has to be redressed because we are not going to go forward if we still have, we are jealous of each other. And there won't be any growth in that regard, which I find it very, very, very challenging and problematic. There's another thing that maybe it can maybe sound controversial in a way. We know that males have been socialized as custodians of music and which we find it strange because there is no owner. But because we have taken a back seat as women, the males have taken the upper seat or the front seat. So we also have to change and redress that. And then the other aspect that I have to speak about is the environment that I work in. The environment that I work in is managing young people. And when you manage young people, there are a number of issues that you have to deal with. Firstly, you have to become young and be like them, behave like them, but at the same time, put strict measures. This, the difficult part in dealing with young people is these energies that they have. Be it positive, be it negative. As a person, you have to blend both or 
assume a middleman's role to neutralize those energies. And you are forced to, to mediate certain uh, aspects or certain problems that they encounter. You need to mediate some of the issues that they face. Be the mediator. And then some backgrounds are very difficult to deal with. Some backgrounds are easy to deal, deal with. But at the end of the day, you need to make those children feel special, feel different, and be the best they, they can be. And you also have to manage the conflicts amongst them. And as a result, sometimes those conflicts are caused by the lack of role models they can look up to. And they don't have any references that they can look at or refer to. So your my biggest role is to make sure that those children become law-abiding citizens, children with morals, educated, and succeed in life. So that is the role that I have to play. And at the same time, I have to become a parent. And that role, I'm forced to become a parent of everyone. And in that role, I have to address the issue finances, the issue of well-being, and etc. And that is caused by our socio-economic issues and the remnants of, of apartheid. So we have to find a way of changing the mindset of our young people. They must be achievers rather than finding themselves as people who are disadvantaged. And then the other aspect, I think this one is easy, is advising aspiring females. The only thing I would say to them is stay grounded, be focused, work extremely hard and always listen to your inner voice dream big and fulfill the dream i'm asked what am i busy with currently i'm all busy with with my project with the project vivacious sounds people can see it on facebook and you can like the page I'm also planning to release a single. Hope it's going to be great. And then lastly, it's the message to women because now it's Women's Month. It's one thing. We need to support each other, love one another. And in regards to gender-based violence, I don't have much to say because we are not the perpetrators of gender-based violence. The people who are responsible for gender-based violence must control and eradicate the gender-based violence. They are, the, they are the ones that are responsible for it. And men have to take a bold step to stop it. We can't stop it. But the owners of gender-based violence must take charge. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for tuning in to Coral Milk. 
we really appreciate the I, I really appreciate the opportunity given to me and I hope our fraternity will change in time. May God bless.
izindongo oviyotekiso e, undombo umambele a mother of two a girl and a boy uh, I'm an educator at Solomon Mashango Senior Secondary School in Yutnaik uh, but I'm residing in Port Elizabeth I was born and bred in Port Elizabeth I want to start off by wishing all the female conductors, in fact, all the women in the choral music, a happy Women's Day. The city, watinda bafazi, watindi mbogot. I hope we enjoy this day, staying safe in our homes, since we all know that this is a time where we need to, do, to take care of ourselves, to be cautious as much as we can, because this is a new known month. Having said that, I want to also extend a word of gratitude to the organizers for this opportunity of sharing our musical journey and being a conductor. Uh, being a conductor in this male-dominated industry. We all know that being a female among men is not an easy task. It has its ups and it has its downs. So my life was a roller coaster in this choral music. Uh, my musical journey started off in 1987 when I became a chorister in the Mighty Matthews Singers, conducted by Mr. Zwandile Matthews. Uh, I joined as an ordinary member, but was later discovered as a soloist there. Um, I performed with the choir in so many um, instances, but moved on to Joy of Africa, um, where I would say it's where my conducting skills blossomed, because there it was when I, uh, I was a trainer for the front line of the choir and was also helping the conductor. So I would say I was an assistant conductor um, for the late Dr. Makaya Mjana, may I mean, his soul rest in peace. So it was there that I, I, I managed to show my conducting skills uh, through the rehearsal, choir rehearsals. And later on, I joined the Sounds of the South Choir. As I've said that, my life was a roller coaster in the choral music. You all know that. Um, I joined the Sounds of the South Choir, which I can say, uh, it is where I was discovered as a conductor, a fully fledged conductor, uh, because it was my first experience to go on stage, conduct a choir, a song in the NCF competition, and a good question too. So it was there that I would say I became a conductor. And then some other choirs became interested, like the African Melodies Choir, and then moved on later to the Transnet Choir Competitions. And in Transnet, uh, I started, I joined e e Transnet uh, Choir Competitions in 2005 uh, under the South African Port Operations. Um, the choir was known then as South African Port Operations. And then later on, it was known as Transnet Port Terminals when the names were changed. Um, that was where I experienced being a conductor in a male-dominated industry, in this male-dominated industry. You all know that choral music is mainly uh, dominated by males. And also these guys are well-groomed. So it means, therefore, you need to know your story as a conductor. Ne? So I joined the Transnet Choir, where I experienced so much being a conductor, and we 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 sang in the Transnet Choir competitions. Then later on, joined the provincial competitions, which was ECMA, 
And then later on, the NCF as transmit port terminals, then and 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 melting port, which I would say was the most high experience I would say. And um in Wafa Wafa, we got to be trained. It's where I first experienced uh, conducting an orchestra. We were trained for orchestra conducting. Uh, it was my first experience and I wasn't sure I would make it. But in 2015, I won, I shared uh, winning with Usidwen Shongo best conductor in the melting pot uh, prior competitions in Wafa Wafa, which we all know that it's more like a champ of champs. So it's the giant choirs competition. Um, my, my, ex, uh, my challenges being a conductor is that firstly, as you can see, I'm not that old. <laughs> you are a lady and you you are conducting people of the same age as you yes some are, are younger than you are so which means therefore if you go to their rehearsals you need to know your story you need to be prepared because and you also need to be open-minded because there you might meet people who might feel that ah this woman we are used to be conducted by males. So they will try to give you that PhD syndrome, which you know about. Um, so it means you need to be sure of your story. You need to plan. You need to be prepared when going to your rehearsals. You need to prepare and know what you need to do, firstly. To the up-and-coming conductors, I would say to them, um, the main thing that you need to do, firstly, is to be passionate about being a conductor. You need to be passionate. You need to be goal-driven. You need to know why you are being a conductor. You cannot go there as an, as an attention seeker because some people with will will um, say you are an uh, attention seeker or maybe uh, you want to be the center of attraction so you cannot go there if you are in that mindset you need to be goal driven you need to know your story so that you can be able to stand the challenges of being a female in this male dominated industry so with those few words i want to say to them Pursue your dreams. Know your story. Everything else will fall into place. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say uh, enjoy the, the next videos that will be played for you. Thank you so much. Bye.
ndamba khaitsu na lina la nikidera khutsafalo mutsina nyane ke nna mo mutsi mo muruleni mo khaolo ya bujanala ya northwest province ke muruta bana ka thuto ne ka le bakala go khudi ke se se ke le mo gae dikhuditse ke rotse tiro ke se mo tsoko conductor khwaire ka dikhwaire tsa skolo ka gore ke muruta bana ka go pula khwaire ya ntla ke ka ngwa ga 1971 ke ke conductor khwaire ya me ya ntla ya skolo me ke ne ke ke gapa di khaele ba gae tsidi mo ga di ka na 17 ke o pedisa di kolo mo di kolo tsi di farologane ntse re ke dira mo go tsona ne ke gapa di khaele o pedisitse church choir ya mo gae mo murule mo ya URC ne senzele MGE kana go yeo go pedisa boloko choral artists go mafikeng go mabatho ke ne le climax ya go pedisa ga me kwa ire ya moloko na le ona re simolo se ka 1997 ni ra khaogana ka 2009 o ka bona gore ke ntse le ona ke ngwa ga di ka na 12 gore ke o pedise kwa ire e ya moloko choral artist tota ke rutlo e ditswe ke go bona bo mme ba tsona le bo eh Sheila Spellman a o pedisa Erskine adalt kwa ya go Eastern Cape ka ka hipola la gore if she la can do it why can't i me fana gona gona go se bonolo le go se bonolo ka gore ke ne ke o pedisa khwaere ya large section lopo choral artist in in more large section ya 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 ncf bona go se bonolo ka gore ke ne ke tshwantse ke thulane le bonta te ba le ba ba powerful ba 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 ne go pedisa di khwaere tsa bona kana go yo go tsa di province ni tse di farologane me ke re ka tsona ke gore ke ke iphematla khwaere ya me ya moloko le yona ke iphematla gore re skera skera bo ifa i was not afraid i was not afraid ba ga itso first appearance ka 1998 ke re setse re 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 ke ra go di go national go di final in tsa NCF ke re setse re tlhagela mo top 4 yo go tlhagela mo top 4 ba gaetso e ne go go direlwa mo leto ke ne ra itumela thata ra itumela gore re tlhageletse go tlhagela e ne le solo seng se stona mo 12 years se ne ke ntse ne le boloko choral artist re tswa re mela se northwest province go finally ga 8 ga 8 o ka bona gore re ne re nna go re ne re nna go me khwaire ya moloko e ne itsege ka mino wa setso traditional dance re ne re dina ya setswana re fedirwa le pitlhalo tse dintsi thata s moloko choral artist ke na le bona ke le conductor ya bona re re dira ga tsa thata mo meletlong ya puso ya northwest province ja ka go tlhoma di premier ga go tlhomiwa di premier bo popo mo lefe bo premier e tla mo lewa ke rena ne re dira ga tsa go ja ka khwaire re ga tsitse e sadek anthem ke nwa di pitlhelo tsa rona sadek anthem e rekotilwe ke ke molopo choral artist kana e tlhamilwe ke date hiro eh magagula re khatisitse di CD di album di le pedi di video ma mepe ma mepe 1 and ma mepe 2 re le moloko choral artist ka the year 2000 ha NCF o introduce orchestra ko kita ke go pola ke ne ke pedi ke dira khaditse ba gaetso I conducted the the orchestra. Me ke itumela ka gore ke be ke le o mongwa bo mme ba ntla mo NCF o a conducting orchestra. Wa ntla wa ntla ba ga itso ke ke ipela ka ka solo seng. Um ka mo ga 2002 traditional 
sa staruma ba ne ba ile go diragatsa go wa di ka ene le go Japan ba ne ba representa South Africa go go FIFA wa di ka ka ona wa ga o gape traditional dance sa staruma tsa moloko choral artist ba tswa go Netherlands ba diragatsa mo se go ne go tiki national international folklore festival this one's qualify for Remgoma Award. So, Ngari Alokari, ke ya mo khetse Remgoma Award ba khaitsu ina ba ka le tlhagaletse fo jaaka conductor ke meletse kwaele ya me ya molopo di bina se tlhagelang fo tse di tla tshamika go rupi eno e leng matlala ya ga mm warane le then comes the dawn ya ga hayden ke tse ke di dira ga ditseng ka 2009 le kwaele ya molopo me ga rena re le go region ya northwest province re ra tsae maemo a ntla ka di bina tse ra ba ra ya khaemela northwest province go national um ri dira ga ditse le mo di competition e ntse di tshwana le bo tsa post office tsa peu re ne re ntse re tsela mo di competition e ntse di ntseng a lo re ga pa di khele fa re ga pa di khele go di ya re ke batla go bua ga ke a go bofelong le di conductor tsa bo mme bo mma a re melleng ro pediseng di kwaire di conductor ske a nna bo refe go tle go di kolong kwa di kereke di conductor ske ana bo refe bo mma a re tsene ha o tsene o le conductor ya mme o tsene matsa work hard and build your choir build yourself loyal develop yourself o ikaghe ka go ithuta from from the other conductors listen to a lot of choral choral music o tsame ke di cd o reetse wa thenda di competition o sekwa fela fela pelo go ngwe o bo ile ge re competition e tintse di a go pele go go sa tlhalo o ya na motho wa choral music ga o le ga o le conductor o go ba le bala di buka ga gona le fa o ka bala ntle ke ga choral music ka go rela o tla bontse o ika ga ke le ro tloetse ka go realo o mme ke a le boga
opportunity to express my sincere appreciation of having been invited to take part in this great conversation. Women's Day is about honoring the struggles and achievements of all women in South Africa and around the world. My name is Linda Luangata, born and bred in the Eastern Cape, in a small town called Namakwe, a teacher by profession and a conductor. Started singing at the age of seven under my uncle's directorship, who was my primary school conductor at that time. That is when I developed passion and love of music. To be brief, I taught at, conducted the Clarkbury College of Education at Inobo produced many conductors in the then Transkei state. Transferred to Atwell Madala JSS, teaching music as a subject and conducted the choir. One of my products that I am proud of is Tandile Mandela. Conductor of Umtata Choral Society produced good singers and respected conductors like Smulele Mjali and Malus Mchalela and others. I am proud that the late North FM Chabe started singing under my directorship at her early age. <coughs> Founder of the conduct and conductor of Maningoma Choristers. Conducted the then Umtata Teachers Choir that scooped the best awards in an interstate competition that held in Buputa, Tswana. 90% of the members who sang there were from Umtata Choral Society. In 1996, I relocated to the Free State 
and conducted Liveco Senior Secondary in Bloemfontein and formed Belcanto Voices, which was comprised of the same students that I developed from a, from a Mie school choir. Also conductor of Bicentenary Methodist Church, which also scooped best awards at the Connectional Co-Championships in Kwakwa in 2018. Former provincial official of, Depart <coughs> Sorry. of Department of Education <coughs> under the Directorate of Youth Recreation, Arts and Culture. One of the memorable achievements when I was there it was is when I registered 100 educators and officials with UNISA for music theory grade one examination. And I obtained 10 distinctions, 43 merit and 15 passes. I was one who was tutoring these lessons. Also a conductor of the Free State Youth Choir I'm sorry. How is it being a female conductor in South Africa? The roots of the women involvement in choral music may be traced back in the history of this country in a male-dominated sector. Already there were women who were trying to make their voices heard in <coughs> <coughs> in the likes of Mandy Sanguza, my former music teacher, <coughs> Sheila Spellman, Amanda Majiza, the late into two measures, just to mention but a few. These women inspired and motivated <coughs> me and I developed love and interest of choral music as I wanted to emulate them in their esteemed struggle of closing the gap that existed among the males and females within the sector. It is a norm. <clears throat> it is a norm. It has been a norm, sorry for that. It has been a norm that men were mostly credited for being founders of choirs and initiators of establishing new choirs in the society. In the past, it rarely occurred that a woman would have a nerve to form a choir within the society. One other memorable step which I feel it worth credibility to women empowerment was the formation and establishment of Maningoma Choristers in Amtata, which later produced the likes of Sibulele Mjali, Malusi Mchalela, Manweko, Brother Tusbulele, Bongani Bubu, and our, and our own Tamsang. It was by no surprise that the formation of Maningoma ultimately led to the, form the immediate formation of another choir during my relocation to the Free State, the Belcanto Voices. With Belcanto Voices, uh, the choir became national champions in the standard section in the year 2006 and 2007, and also became national champions in the large section 2008 to 2009. It has also its own products Vianne Mlinde, who is a renowned bass singer, who is in Germany. We have also the likes of Tsuche Happy, who is the best 
of the best in Northwest. I've also this young man, Jack Sogomelang, who is the young Belcanto conductor. The main dominance ruled over NCF championships tightly over a number of years was historically put to an end by the Belcanto voices. A new record of a woman breaking the long-standing NCF championship title male-dominated record was created. My advice to the young aspiring conductors, my advice would be to encourage them to fill the gap that is currently existing within the sector like transforming the sector into a job creation sector that shall contribute largely towards the economic growth of the country and also encourage them to achieve their dreams despite all odds this day is to commemorate all the women who have been abused and murdered at the hands of their partners or due to some sort of gbv we all say enough is enough to gbv that is my closing uh, message to women i've got also one two issues that i would like us to discuss at some time why do our choral legends practitioners less recognized by the public media and government in terms of their passing number two how can choirs be saved from the state of domains, which normally kills our choirs. I thank you, Sydney.